Hello, I'm Dr. Griffin Rogers, Director of the National Institute of Diabetes, Digestive and Kidney Diseases. It is an understatement to say that we're living in unprecedented times. The COVID-19 pandemic has brought illness, disability, and death for many, while upending our lives and normal activities. Many of you are worried about the future for biomedical research. What will be the new normal? In response, I wanted to tell you about some of the steps we and NIH as a whole are taking to reduce the impact of COVID-19 on researchers and their work and to help restart research. We've been greatly helped in this regard by the thoughtful input from members of our National Advisory Council during a May forum on this topic. I'll describe it momentarily. However, I first wanted to take a moment to speak to other recent events. In the midst of dealing with the impact of COVID-19 pandemic, we have now also witnessed heartbreaking events that highlight the racial injustice in our country. The weight of this racial injustice falls heavily on many of the same people simultaneously burdened by the health disparities we're seeing in the effects of COVID-19. These disparities and effects are further exacerbated by the many diseases in NIDDK's mission. As these systemic issues, medical, social, and economic, have boiled over in deeply troubling waves, I grieve with you. But I still have great hope and optimism that these raised voices will create meaningful change. For our part, NIDDK will continue to work to understand the causes of the health disparities for the diseases within our mission, including how these diseases may be contributing to COVID-19 disparities and to achieve a more diverse scientific workforce and feel safe and supported. I also remain optimistic that we as a scientific community can move biomedical research forward while dealing with the many effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. The members of NIDDK's advisory council, scientific and lay leaders from research and patient communities meet three times a year to advise NIDDK about our research portfolio. We also seek their input on managing the research enterprise, input that is particularly critical during times of challenge and change. On May 12th, we used our remote council meeting to obtain their insight on the scope of COVID-19's impact on NIDDK-supported research from basic science to clinical and translation science to training and career development and on how NIDDK can assist in restarting research activity. As you might expect, this forum generated a robust discussion. Many issues as well as some proposed mitigation strategies were considered. Among these were several cross-cutting issues such as increased costs for conducting research safely in current institutional environments, the loss of revenue to support research at academic institutions, particularly those that are hospital-based, and the disproportionate effects of the pandemic on investigators with school-aged children, on young investigators, and on investigators who are part of underrepresented minority groups in this country. The forum participants also raise a specific impacts on young and junior investigators, such as hiring freezes, job offer revocations, and suspension of lab work and clinical studies, resulting in their inability to generate preliminary data to support initial R01 applications. Finally, our counselors highlighted challenges to the very conduct of scientific research, such as the accommodations that need to be made for the safety of all involved fear or reluctance on the part of participants to participate in clinical trials and the inability to collect outcome data in biosamples. When it came to ideas for how to mitigate these impacts and the roles for NIDDK and NIH, three common themes emerged. There were policy flexibility, policy accommodations, and targeted investments. Council members provided a number of suggestions along these lines for our considerations. Now, many of these issues and challenges raised are not unique to NIDDK. NIH has been working hard to 
try and get in front of the issues that the pandemic has created for the research community. And several recommendations made by our, our council members have been addressed at a trans-NIH level. For example, NIH has provided leeway on post-award reporting deadlines and flexibility in human subjects research project extensions and managing project costs. Also, a new flexibility allows investigators to submit one page of preliminary results up to 30 days before the date of peer review, a flexibility that was recommended by our council members. I encourage you to visit the NIH website at grants.nih.gov to find more information on the myriad flexibilities established to help address the impacts of COVID-19 on the research community, as well as answers to frequently asked questions. What I wish to underscore for you is that within the NIH framework, and while considering additional suggestions and options, NIDDK will work to be as generous and flexible as possible. One approach we will explore is in response to council suggestions in targeting investments to young investigators to mitigate disproportionate impacts of COVID-19 on the careers of this vulnerable population. This approach will build upon NIDDK's commitment to ensure a steady and diverse pool of talented new investigators. Well, clearly COVID-19 effects are wide ranging and it will take time to fully recover and we may have to redefine normal in the context of this pandemic. However, I can assure you that NIDDK is listening. We will do what we can to ease the path to this new normal so that you can continue the important work needed to address the root biological, social, and economic causes of chronic disease and to develop ways to combat these conditions. Thank you for your attention, and I hope that you and yours are and remain safe, healthy, and hopeful.